Hi, welcome to part one of your cranial nerve examination. Today's portion of your cranial nerve exam will be exploring your olfactory nerve, your glossopharyngeal nerve, your hypoglossal nerve, your vagus nerve, your trigeminal nerve, facial nerve, and your accessory nerves. So what that means is we will be exploring all of the nerves that interact with your face, facial muscles, nose, mouth, tongue, throat, jaw, and your general sense of touch and sensation. Okay, this exam will be completely painless and should be very relaxing for you. All right, so to begin, we are going to be testing your olfactory nerve, which is your sense of smell. So, lately, have you experienced any problems with your sense of smell? Anything smelling different, odd, unusual, or complete lack of smell? Good. Then this will be very, very easy and very, very simple. All I'm going to ask you to do is simply to close your eyes, occlude one nostril, and take a small smell of what I have in this little bottle here, okay? So again, close your eyes, occlude a nostril, and take a smell, take a smell. Good. And what do you smell? Coffee. Very good. We are going to do the same thing again. Close, close, close those eyes. Occlude one nostril and take a smell. What do you smell? Vanilla, very good. So, it seems your sense of smell is perfectly intact, which is wonderful. Since we are now testing your sense of smell, we are also going to test your sense of taste. So we are going to first do a brief oral examination, then we are going to test your sense of taste, and then we are going to test your vagus nerve, which is a very, very gentle gag reflex test. And I promise we will be as gentle as possible. All right, so just sit there for a moment. I have another small vial here, and as you can see, it has a little tip, which will just drip out a little bit of the liquid right onto your tongue. So I want you to close, close, close those eyes for me. Stick out your tongue, and I am just going to one, two, three, drop. And what do you taste? Lemon's very good. I'm going to grab another bottle here. Same thing, keep those eyes closed, closed, closed. And stick out your tongue. One, two, three, drop. And what do you taste? Coffee, wonderful. Go ahead and open your eyes for me. Well, my friend, it looks like your sense of taste and smell are perfectly intact. So now we are going to do a brief oral examination on you. All right, test that vagus nerve and also take a look at the tongue and that hypoglossal nerve of yours. All right, so why don't you go ahead and open your mouth for me. And when you do, I'm just going to feel here under your jaw, just keep that mouth open, open, open. Keep it open, good. Okay, very good. Now, keeping that mouth open, I'm just going to use my light and take a look inside. So, keep the mouth open. Good. Stick out your tongue for me. I'm just going to grab it. And lift it up, looking for 
for any spots, lesions, lumps, bumps, things that should not be there. Good. Good. I'm just going to move to the side. Good. To the other side. Good. And good. All right. Well, now we're going to test the vagus nerve. Not everybody's favorite test. And while painless, it may be a little uncomfortable. So I'm just going to grab a tongue depressor here. Fresh out of the package. That doesn't want to open very well. But... Alright. So... I'm going to just ask you to open up and say, ah for me, and I'm going to grab my light again, so please open, say ah, and I'm just going to insert the tongue depressor, looking at the reaction of the uvula, and going back, 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 good, I know, not very comfortable, swallow for me, good, no more tongue depressor, I promise, but I would like you to look straight at me. Open that mouth again. Open your mouth. Good. Stick out your tongue. Move to the left. Right. Up. Down. Good. Can you curl your tongue? Like that. Good. Can you do anything else with your tongue? Okay, good. Looks like your mobility and tongue movement is very, very good. So, that is a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful wonderful sign. Love to see it. Love to see it. Alrighty. So that will cover your vagus nerve and also the hypoglossal nerve, which means we are going to move on to your trigeminal nerve, facial nerve, and accessory nerve. So for this portion of the exam, I'm going to be having to touch multiple parts of your face, and then we are also going to be doing multiple, 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 multiple touch point sensation exam tests on you. All right. So to begin, we are going to do a facial examination. So I am just going to look at your skin, look at your face, just looking, examining, different parts. I'm going to come over here. I'm just going to touch your ear. Does it feel any issue when I touch your ear? Okay. Good. And I'm going to come over here. I'm going to touch your other ear. Any pain or discomfort? Any pain or discomfort? Okay, good. All right, so we're going to just come back up. I'm going to just be touching along your forehead, eyebrows, and right above your eyelids here. So just stay still for me so I can just... Check you out here. Okay. Just going to gently do a little percussive on your forehead. Just let me know if you feel any discomfort. Nothing? Good. I'm going to come over here. I'm going to palpate, palpate on your temples. So we're going to Good. And then we're going to move down your T-zone here. Just going to apply a little pressure. Moving my way down, 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 down. Good. And then we're going to go under your eyes. Just palpating, palpating. Good. It's a little windy out today. You can go home after the exam, crawl up 
in a blanket, or watch your favorite movie, read your favorite book, do all those fun things that we like to do on those blustery, windy, not so nice days, you know. You are doing absolutely fantastic. So we're going to move over to your cheek here, and I'm just going to just inspect, examine, inspect, examine, inspect, examine. Good. Into the other cheek, inspect, examine, inspect, and examine, inspect, and examine. Good. Good. All right, you're doing wonderful. Just going to come a little close, look at your upper lip. Just good. Run down to your chin. God, you're doing wonderful, I promise. All right, now we're going to check out your jawline. So we're going to come up right under the jaw here. Just feel around. Good. It's going to feel right back behind the jawbone. Just feeling for anything out of order, anything that doesn't feel like it should be there. Have you had any problems swallowing, chewing, anything like that? Good, okay. Go ahead and clench your jaw real tight for me, and I'm just going to palpate. Palpate, palpate, palpate back there behind your jaw. Good. Clench your heart again. Good. Feel your throat. Again, feeling here, just making sure everything is where it should be. Feeling any swelling of your thyroid, which is good. Feeling any kind of swollen glands, no cysts, nothing. So that's what we want to see. And then come back over to the jaw. Gonna feel for those lymph nodes. Just stay still. Good. Feel this one real close, real quick. Okay, that's fine. You're doing wonderful. All right, so let's test out those facial muscles, shall we? I want you to sit back, sit up, look right at me, and I want you to give me a big old smile. Good, now big old frown. Good, now puff out your cheeks. Like that, keep them puffed, then I'm just going to try to pop the puffy cheeks. Good, do it one more time. And we're going to try to pop the puffy cheeks. Don't let me pop them. Good. Wonderful. That looks good. All right. So keep your head straight. And I'm going to just put my hand under your chin, top of your head. And I'm going to try to force your head down. Don't let me force it down, okay? Ready? One, two, three. Fight me, fight me, fight me. Good. One more time. One. Two, three, fight me, fight me, fight me. Good. All right. We're going to do another musculature test. So I'm going to place my hand inside your face. I'm going to try to push, push, push you. And you resist. All right. So here we go. I'm going to try to. Ready? And push, push, push. Good. One more time. Push, push. Wonderful, other side, and push, 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 good, keep resisting, and push, 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 wonderful, now we're going to test your shoulders, and I'm going to just put my hands on your shoulders, and I want you to try to lift them up while I push them down, all right, so here we go, and don't let me push them down. Don't let me push them down. Don't let me push them down. Try that one more time. And here we go. Come on. Don't let me push them down. Don't let me push them down. Don't let me push them down. Wonderful. Wonderful. All right. And we are going to do one more facial test. So I'm just going to push on the top of your head. And you don't let me push you, okay? So just stay still. And I'm going to push, push, push. Good. And one more time. Push, push, push. Wonderful. Do the same thing on the other side, all right? And here we go. Push, push, push. Good. And one more time. Push, 
push, push. That was awesome. You're doing absolutely fantastic. Acing part one of your cranial nerve exam for the final portion of part one of your cranial nerve examination. We are going to be testing your trigeminal nerve. The trigeminal nerve is the nerve that is in charge of your sensation of touch. So during this portion of the examination, I'm going to be asking you to close, close, close your eyes, and you may keep them closed for the entirety of the portion of this exam. Okay? So close, close, close your eyes, and I will begin the touch point test, which will be touching you at different points on your face and your neck, and you will tell me to differentiate between which object I am touching you with. All right? So we will start with something very easy. I'm going to touch you with object number one, which is soft, and object number two, which is dull. All right? So you're going to tell me if it's soft or if it's dull. All right? Okay, so, and, good, soft, good, dull, soft, dull, dull again, soft, soft, Dull, very good. Soft again. Dull. Keep those eyes closed. Now we are going to test sharp versus dull. Okay? And dull, good. Sharp, good. Dull, very good. Sharp, good. Dull, good. Sharp, good. Dull. Dull, good. And keep those eyes closed, closed, closed for me. We're going to do a little more detailed exam. So you tell me if you can feel the soft brush or the fuzzy brush. The soft brush or the fuzzy brush. So tell me. Soft, good. And what's that? Fuzzy, good. Soft, very good, about. Fuzzy, good, about. Soft, good. Fuzzy, good. Soft, good. And soft again. Keep those eyes closed, closed, closed. And the final one is going to be cool or warm. Cool or warm. Cool or warm. All right, keep them closed, 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 and cool, good, warm, good, cool, good, warm, very good, cool, warm, cool, good, warm, down here, cool. Good. Warm. Wonderful. Go ahead and open, open, open those eyes, open those eyes. Well, my friend, I have to say that for part one of your cranial nerve exam, you passed with flying colors. Welcome back to part two of your cranial nerve examination. Today's portion of your cranial nerve exam will be focused on testing your sense of sight. Today we will be testing your ocular motor nerve and doing an eye examination as well as a multitude of eye tests. All right, wonderful. So please sit back and get comfortable and we are going to begin the exam with a brief inspection of your eyes. So I'm going to be just getting a bit close to you like this and looking at your eye here and all I am for is any kind of 
puffiness swelling you let me know if you experience any pain at any point in time I'm going to just gently palpate palpate on your eyebrow over here and just gently press on your eyelid no pain, good just examine the corner of your eye here okay to right underneath good and we're going to take a look at the other eye. Same thing, just gently palpating, palpating around the edge of your eye here. Okay, good. That's very good. No pain. Good. And again, just going to gently press on your eyelid. Very, very good. Okay, right now I'm going to just take my thumbs and run them right under your eyes. You let me know if you experience any pain, any odd sensation, any pain, any discomfort. Just going to gently press the sides of your eyes here. Just press, press, press. Any discomfort or pain? Good. Press, press, press. And press, press, press. All right, good. So now we are going to begin the eye exam. And first thing I'm going to do is do a little observation of you. So I'm going to sit here with my magnifier, I'd like you to look straight at me, just look straight at me, both eyes open, and going to observe you from a distance, good, and I'm going to observe the other eye from a distance, good, and then we're going to get a little bit closer, same thing, this game looking straight at me. Straight at me. Good. Keep looking. Good. And again. Just look at me. Good. Look at me. Good. Keep looking. Wonderful. All right. And now I'm going to get very close. Head to head. Look inside your eye. So you keep that eye open, open, open for me and follow my instructions. Just look straight, 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 good. Now look up, 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 good. And look down, down, good. Now look to your left, left, keep looking left and to your right. Straight again. Good. We're going to do the other eyes. Same thing. Keep it open, open, open. And. Good. Look straight. Look straight. Good. Now look up. Good. And down. Down, down. Good. Left. Right. Left, right, straight ahead, good, wonderful, not seeing anything wrong whatsoever so far, okay, so now that we have observed your ocular nerve, we are going to continue on with some of your eye muscle sensation. So what I'd like you to do is just 
Look, look, look at me. I'm going to take this cotton swab and just pull out the tiniest little wisp like that, and I'm going to touch it to the corner of each eye to ensure we can still elicit a blink, blink, blink response, okay? So just look straight at me a little tiny bit. Will not hurt. And wonderful. And one more time. Looking for that blink, blink, blink. Done. Very easy. And now we are going to do a very similar test, except we are just going to be using air. We have this small little bulb. Attach this small hose, and I will just hold it up and just gently blow a puff of air right at your eye to make sure we can get you to blink, 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 okay? Alright, so look straight, straight at me, and puff, great, and again, puff, one more time, puff, one more time, puff, wonderful. Now we can move on to the actual eye test portion of the examination. So for the first test, it's very simple. I want you to again look at straight at me, right at my nose. I'm going to turn on this light and I'm going to ask you to just look straight ahead at me while I pass the light over your eyes. Good. Don't follow it, just look straight at me. Good. Okay. We do the same thing with a different type of light. And keep looking good. Good. Look at me. Just keep looking. Good. Wonderful. Now we will do what is called a cover test. So I'm going to cover one of your eyes, and then I'm going to swing the light in, and then out, and then in, and out. And the point of this exam is to look how your pupils dilate and react to light versus dark, all right? So I'm just going to hold up the occluder and swing the light in and out, in, out, in, out, in, out, in, out, in, and out. Good. And we're going to do the other side, so same thing, same thing. I just want to light in, and out, and in, out, in, out, in, out, in, and out, in, out. Fantastic. Your pupils were dilating and contracting quite nicely. So we are going to continue along in a very similar vein. I'm going to ask you to close one eye for me. And I would like you to follow the light. Just follow the light for me. Good. Follow, follow. Good. Just keep following that light. Good. 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 Keep that eye closed or covered. All right. Now let me know when the light comes into your vision, okay? And good. Good. Very good.
Nine like you do. Cover the other eye. And we're going to do the same thing. Just follow the light. Good. Follow the light. Wonderful. You're doing fantastic. Good job. All right. Keep that eye covered. Same thing. Let me know when you can see the light come into your vision. Good. 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 All right. You can go ahead and open both those eyes. You can blink a few times. Feeling okay? All right, good. So, let's continue. I'd like you to look straight at me and look at this finger. And just pay attention to the finger. Not the light, just the finger. Not the light. Good. Very good. Alright, now I want you to follow the light, follow the light, follow the light, follow the light, good, keep following, good, good, now I want you to look straight at me. Don't pay attention to the light, and we're going to see how you react when it comes in. And then out, good, and in. And out, good, and in. Out, good, and in again. And out, good, on the other side. And in, out, in, out, in, out. Wonderful. You are a perfect patient so far, and your eyes seem perfectly healthy. Just look at me. I just want to do a little observation again. Make sure we're not tiring those eyes out too, too, too much. We want to make sure that they are still very, very, very energetic. But if they are getting sleepy, at all in any way, shape, or form, please let me know, and you can close them for a little rest, okay? Still ready to go? Great. Now we are going to do a little high test with the eye chart here. So if you would just read the letter that I point to. Okay, and let's begin with this one. What is that letter? Good, and that one. Good, how about that one? Very good, and all the way down here, what's that? And that, and that. How about that one? And then this one. And that one. And back up here. And what if we go to this one right here? Good, and this one. Good. And that one. Good. Can you read this line? Great. And this line. Fantastic. Continuing in that same vein, let's do a little 
number chart. So can you read this number? Good. And this number. Good. And that one. And that one. Good. That one. And that one. Great. Well, your numbers and letters seem to be intact with you and your brain and your eyes. So let's do a little color recognition, shall we? I know it sounds juvenile, but... Hey. We have to get old. We don't have to grow up. So you just tell me what the color is when you see it, alright? Yellow. Red. Orange, good. And that one. Gray, very good. How about that? White, good. And this one. Green, good. And this one. Blue, great. And last one. Purple. You got them all. We're going to do one more. Well, actually, two more color exams with you. So for the next portion of the eye exam, we are going to be seeing how your eyes can recognize light through different colored filters like this one, all right? So you just look straight at me. I'm gonna hold this up and then just shine my light through and you let me know if you can see the light. Good. And the next one. Good. And repeat again. Double check. Good. See if we can catch you off guard sometimes. All right. I'll try this one. Good. Good. And this one. Good. And one more. Here we go. Good. Good. Great. So that was 100% accurate. Beautiful. Well done. We have one more color vision test for you. The classic Ishihara plates. So you've probably seen these before. You can see this. Control plate, you should be able to read that, no problem. Good. And then we have this one here. Good. And this one. Good. We don't have to give you every single plate. Very good. Good. Very good. All right. And then this. Good. And then this one. Very good. All right. Well, we're just going to do one more review of your eyes with a light. So if you would just look straight at me again, straight at me, straight at me, straight at me, and just 
Look at me. Don't pay attention to the light. Look at me good. Look at me good. Look at me. Look at me. Good. Good. Just keep looking. Good. Keep looking. Good. Good. All right. Well, that will conclude part two of your cranial nerve exam today, testing your optic and ocular motor nerve. Welcome back to the final portion of your cranial nerve exam, the hearing portion of the exam. So, for today, we are going to be examining both of your ears, as well as looking inside and performing a few hearing tests to make sure everything is working as intended. Alright? Okay. During the exam, I'm going to have to be touching your ears and being very, very close. So, you just sit back, relax, you can close, close, close your eyes if you like, and I'm just going to begin the exam by observing your ears and just examining them gently, palpating, just touching up and around your ear, looking at the earlobe. And I'm just going to press gently. Do you have any pain? Good. All right. I'm going to examine your other ear here, so just stay still. And can just palpating around the ear gently. Okay. All right, good. Any pain? Any pain? Okay. So now, I'm going to take this small tool here. This is an acupressure tool. This is a dull tip. And I'm just going to use the very dull end here to gently just press on different parts of your ear. You let me know if you experience any pain. Stay still for me, and we're just going to gently test your ear here. You let me know if there's any pain. Any pain. You're doing wonderfully. Just keep still for me. Good. You're doing okay? Alright, so we're going to do the same thing on the other ear. You just hold very still. And I'm just going to gently press. Press. Press, press, good, good, you're doing great, just stay still, can use the other end here, just gonna press, just relax, it's gonna be okay, good, alright, so look at me, Here. Does that feel the same on each side? The 
Does that feel the same? Okay, and how about that? Same or different? And that, same or different? Okay, all right. So now we're going to do a brief hearing test for you. So I'm going to ask you to close, close, close those eyes again. And I'm going to whisper a word in your ear and you repeat it back. All right? All right. So again, close, close, close those eyes. Good. Sleep. Good. Coconut. Good. Pineapple. Good. Go ahead and open your eyes. And you can just blink, blink, blink a few times. All right. And then close, close. Close them again. Very similar test. You just repeat after me. Repeat back what I say. Sleep. Blank. Space. Good. Vanilla. Lavender. Lemon. Dream. Fall. Soft. Good. Good. Rainy day relaxation. Good. All right. Open, open, open those eyes. And now we are going to take a little look inside of your ears. So if you'd like, you can keep those eyes open or closed. And I'm just going to come in real, real. And ever so gently just to put the otoscope in. And look inside, look inside. Looking at that thematic membrane. Looks very, very nice, very nice. Nice and pearly, but we do have a little wax. Okay. A little bit of wax, but we will take care of that for you today. And we're going to take a look at the other side here, so same thing. And we're Gently put the oscope inside and take a look, look, look. Oh, good. The panic membrane looks very nice. A little wax, but we'll get that. And gently pull it out. Alright, so ears look pretty good. Hearing is so far intact. But you have a little bit of wax, so we're going to get that out after we do a few more hearing tests. So with this one, I am just going to use my little tuning fork here and I'm going to bring it and place it right here in your forehead, just like this, okay? I know it's gonna look funny, but you're gonna tell me if you can hear it the same in both ears, more in one ear or more in the other ear, all right? There we go, and... The same, very good. And we do it one more time, and... Good. And we'll be done with that. What I would like to do, though, is a little pneumatic otoscopy with you. So what I'm going to do is take my otoscope here with this attached tube and bulb. What this will do is allow me to insert the tip of the otoscope here. And what's going to happen is it will insert into the ear canal. And then I will be able to on the bulb, and what that will do is 
stimulate the tympanic membrane, making it flex a little bit and letting me know that it is working properly, like stimulating vibrations in your ear. So again, we're just going to put it inside and then just like that, very simple, very easy, very, very gentle, I promise, okay? No pain. And we're gonna start over here. So again, we're just going to slip the otoscope in gently, and then we're just going to... Good, and one more time. Good, and last one. Good. Not so bad, right? And we're going to do the other side here, so we're just going to gently with the otoscope, put it inside, and we're just going to, and again, and one more time. All right, no problems. And we'll just take that off. All right, my friend. Your ears are looking pretty good, but we don't want to send you out with any excess earwax. And you only have a little. It's not very deep. It's not impacted. But it's nothing we cannot deal with today. So I'm going to use this very small wooden scoop here. And then this brush. And we're just going to be able to pick and then brush out any of that wax that's kind of stuck there in the canal. And we'll take another look inside, and I'm sure you'll feel much better. So why don't you go ahead and close, close, close those eyes for me. And we're going to just come over here, and we're just going to get this little bit of wax. Yep, and we'll brush it out. Brush. It's not so bad. I've seen much, much worse. Okay. Grab my console up here and we'll give it a little bit of polish. Just any of that external little layer of wax. Most people don't realize that the body is actually designed to expel the earwax naturally and actually can slide out in your sleep. If you have way too much, you might notice a little yellow on your pillow. That's a little excess earwax slipping out. Not necessarily a bad thing. Your body's doing its job. But keep those eyes closed, closed, closed. And we'll go over here and we will. Looking pretty good over there. Grab the console again. We're just gonna give it a little polish. Okay. Again, just getting that little layer of wax on the outside. Outside. Good. 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 All right. You feeling okay? Your ears all right? No pain. No discomfort. Good. Take another look inside, just make sure that we did our job here. 
and got you all cleaned up, so I'm just going to again insert this gently and take a look, 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 look. Much cleaner, much better. Much, much cleaner and much, much better. Good. Wonderful. And on the other side. And beautiful, nice and clean. Great. And if you would indulge me for a moment and close, close, close those eyes, we're going to do a little more hearing test. So I just want you to know that this is all part of the exam and everything is going perfectly fine. Those eyes closed. You let me know what ear you can hear a noise in. And good. Good. Good job. Okay. All right. Very good. Good. Very good. Keep those eyes closed, closed, closed. Just want you to tell me if you can feel this on your ear. Good. Can you feel it on this ear? Good. And tell me, can you feel it here? Good. And Been on the back of this ear over here. Good. Keep those eyes closed, closed, closed. I'm going to bring back our little acupressure friend from earlier, and I'm just going to touch beyond different parts of your ear. You let me know if it feels painful in any way. Touch. Good. Keep those eyes closed. Good. 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 Okay. Okay. Yeah, definitely. Could benefit from some. Most definitely. We use these tiny little dots called ear seeds, and we place them on specific points of your ear. They stay there for about a week, and you squeeze them and massage them during the day for a short amount of time, and it will help relieve stress and anxiety. It can even help you sleep better. But, my friend, that concludes your hearing portion of the cranial nerve exam and with that the entirety of the cranial nerve exam and you passed with flying colors and because of that you get a lollipop so here you go <laughs> yeah all right well you know the rules go home relax Drink plenty of water, get comfy, and unwind, and have a great day, and get a good night's sleep. I will see you again soon, maybe for some of that ear acupressure therapy. Alright? Okay. We'll see you soon.